After five rounds, the Euro Open Championship reaches the Braga circuit in Portugal for the penultimate round. With only one more to go, the racing is sure to be close. Klaus Knowles, leader in the championship, a tremendous championship he's had and has to be favourite yet again for a win here in Portugal. Riders in position, they've done the warm-up lap, the grid is cleared. And the lights are green through the haze, we see them get away and on the far right-hand side of the picture, it's a lightning start for number two, Klaus Knowles. They all hurtle, screaming for the first term, and it's Knowles into the corner first. There is Nizam, number 43, got a good start. In a pack of many riders there fighting for position, but fights back. Race leader number two, Klaus Knowles, has just been so superb this year. There is Nizam on the Patronus machine. And a little bit of barging going on there, just got pushed out of that position and down goes. Well, that looks like uh, number 14, who's uh, come to grief there, just got on the grass. Heading up to the start line, race lead. Oh, one at the back there, there's a rider gun off and that looks as if it could have been number four, Yves Polter. Number 11, mid picture there, Massimo Bisconti. On at the Honda machine, and another Honda there, it's 43, there's Nizam on the 125, battling hard and chasing down 97 for his place, if he can get it from him. Out of the turn, powers out of the corner now, and chases ahead. Meanwhile, we're back with race leader, Klaus Knowles, looking very happy indeed. Quite close at the front with the first three. But Knowles, I'm sure, riding at his own pace, he'll be quite happy. Through to the start-finish line once again. Looks close, but I'm sure there is no pressure being felt at all by number two. He'll just be concentrating now, get him to the end of the race, but it is a good performance today from 53, who has been chasing hard all the way through this race. William DeAngelis had a good season. We're back here, there with uh, Nizam on the 125 Petronas Honda. Still fighting it out for position. Klaus Knowles still keeping ahead of William DeAngelis. And Knowles is pulling out a little bit more. Third place, 39. And that's uh, Jaraslav Hules who qualified well. There's Nizam. Uh, behind him on the uh, team of Prudia, Marco Petrini. So Nizam goes very well indeed. He's got uh, some top riders behind him that he's keeping ahead of so far. 45, 97, 11. And then there is Nizam on the 125cc Honda that seems to be going well for him today. Very distinctive colouring. And a good race for him so far. He'll be very pleased, and so too the team. Race leader with a very comfortable advantage now. Through the start-finish line yet again. Look back, and uh, probably half a second or so, the gap behind. Klaus Knowles. Back to second place, man. Knee out, slides through the turn. Into this tight series of bends. It just seems to be so easy for Klaus Knowles. And what a season he is having. Last off fuels and 16 going fairly well too in fourth place. Uh, battling with uh, 97 and uh, Diego Grigovats now seems to be finding a little bit of pace. He was well down earlier, but uh, has come strikingly up the field. 
see how that German just hangs off that very tiny 125 machine. Very small CCs, but incredibly quick, live and nimble bikes. And there is Nizam. And he's uh, comfortably ahead now of the battle that he was involved in before. The riders in front of him, so he'll be chasing them hard for position now. Just trying to improve slowly and gradually all the time. And there is a bike down. Well, that's uh, number four, so it wasn't Polter that uh, was off, but uh, he definitely is now. And uh, Luis Costa Balboa, he's off too. No such problems for race leader Klaus Knowles. Very eccentric German, always smiling around the paddock. The uh, incident on the corner there seems to be uh, under control. Doesn't seem to be any problems on the track for the riders. And safe progress for Knowles. The speed unit machine, and down goes 53. So William De Angelis, who was going so well, and was up in the uh, top three at one point. So he's down, and Nizam ahead of number one at the moment, Jose Lite. And Nizam still pushing hard, pushing on. 15, that's uh, Jacob Smertz. And uh, he seems to be battling, I think that was at 19. So those two are just ahead of Nizam on the very distinctive Petronas machine. And those are the ones that he'll be chasing to. Meanwhile, back at the line, and that really does tell the story. You would think that that was his first win ever. Very, very happy indeed as the other come alongside him. And a good result too for 97 who really did have a blistering run at the end of the race, helped, of course, by the uh, disappearance from the race of William De Angelis falling. That uh, promoted him up uh, a position or two. Look at the lights on that young rider's face. He really, really is made up with a win here at Braga. Another non-surprising win for Knowles. He left the others behind from the start and controlled the race just how he wanted to. Diego Grugovat second and Jaroslav Huls was third. No stranger really to the champagne bottle and that pretty much is the championship wrapped up for the ones who fights as well. 2.50cc time, the Malaysian rider Cheryl Yuzi that took the Honda onto pole position for this race today. Final changes, setups to the bike. Last few moments then, green flag shown, all is clear. And a very quick start indeed. The pink machine in the middle is Ivan Clemente. Number seven we're looking out for, as well as number two. Two, two bogged down a little bit, and look at the pole man. It is Yuzi that has the lead, started on pole and has made the best of it. A terrific start for him into the first turn. And behind him, it's number two, Mike Foldinger, which certainly well off the line for the uh, Team TVK Petronas machine. And a great start to the race for Cheryl Yuzi. That is exactly what he would have wanted. And a good safe margin already over number two, Mike Foldinger, who is being chased hard and that will allow Yuzi to get away. Number three, Daniel Ribolta, we just saw there. And at the end of the first lap, it is Yuzi that leads ahead of Mike Boldinger. Boldinger being chased hard by number seven, Vincent Philippe. Yuzi with a comfortable advantage already. That Honda is absolutely flying. And he really is riding well in these opening stages of the race. Bolding it ahead of Philippe. And there's 41, Jamie Robinson. So the British rider in fourth place. Here he is again as they go through the S's. Yuzi still ahead of number two, Mike Boldinger. And Boldinger, well... A very, very talented rider, but the Malaysian is outshining him here in Portugal today. Yuzi, Boldinger and Vincent Philippe, that is the order, then battling 
for his position 41, Jamin Robinson. Head down flat out before breaking hard up. Takes the turn, flicks to the other side. And if you could see those eyes behind that darkened visor, you would see a man who is concentrating to the utmost degree. But he has a comfortable margin, but he can't afford yet to uh, just take that for granted. Keep pressing on. This race is still in its early part. Holding uh, in a battle and uh, 16 and uh, 41 having a race of uh, their own. 90 comes through. These are uh, further back towards the end of the race. And Boldinger still cannot get close to this man. Race leader number 63 on the Petronas Honda, Cheryl Yuzi. Boldinger just starting now to creep a little bit closer. Getting closer and getting past are two completely different things. Well, Boldinger's got through somehow. Boldinger gets through, Yuzi relegated to second place. And Yuzi now will be desperate to fight back. We've seen him pull off some astonishing moves this year. There's 41, Jamie Robinson on the Paget machine. Through the start finish line, it is Boldinger still ahead of Cheryl Yuzi. Yuzi just trying to get a slipstream off Boldinger's bike. Vincent Felipe it is, and as this, it has Yuzi got the advantage this time. He has indeed a terrific maneuver there, just left the braking till last minute. And uh, an excellent move there for the Malaysian rider who takes back the first place that he uh, took right from the start of the race. So Boldinger now has to do the whole thing again if he can. Yuzi already pulling out a little bit of an advantage again. Boldinger behind him, Vincent Felipe still in third place. But that really was some good riding. And there's uh, number nine who uh, goes out. That is uh, Roger Henrali on the Honda. Very easy. First, Mike Boldinger. Second, Boldinger, a very, very experienced rider being outpaced so far by Yuzi. The machine looking resplendent in the sunshine here in Portugal. It is a hot day. Oh, and Yuzi's gone down. The front wheel just chucked in underneath. He's perfectly all right. Runs to the bike. And uh, while well, the fairing has uh, broken a little bit, but desperate to try and get back on and get finished. But... Uh, Calls for assistance to try and get going again. And dear, oh dear, what a disappointment for Yuzi. But that means that Boldinger now has that first place. Well, hopefully, here's the replay then. Comes into the turns. Goes in and the front wheel just sticks away. And maybe, maybe he had tyre problems. We saw the same thing happen for his teammate in the 125s where his uh, tyre started to uh, back off a little bit, so maybe that would be the problem here, but, uh, well, we just don't know. But disappointment, indeed, for Yuzi and the team. And across the line, and the win, of course, it is then for number two, Mike Boldinger. Well, nobody close to uh, even challenge him for the lead after the demise of uh, Yuzi. And we look back, and that uh, was the result of that uh, very close chase. Indeed, that uh, ended up being for second place. So another delighted winner here at this Braga circuit in Portugal. It was a lucky win for Mike Boldinger, who could just not find a way to get past Yuzi and make it stick. Gabor Ritzmeyer was second, Vincent Philippe third. And the winner takes to the top step, oh, of course, of the podium. I had some problems in practice and uh, had a very good start from uh, second grid and uh, can keep second position till the end of the race. And then uh, the Malaysian rider makes a little mistake two uh, laps before finish and uh, I can go 
uh, till the end and finish first. Well, missed fortune for Shaul Yuzi, but one more chance to make it back up in the next round at Cartagena in Spain. And this year's Euro Open Championships are now completed as the teams arrive in Spain for their final race at Cartagena. On the grid then, this is the final 125cc race of the championship this year. In fact, the final one before the new millennium and they're away. Clean starts, dash for the first turn and it looks as if it's one of the local favourites, Adrian Arjano, number 20 it is, who makes it to the corner first, takes the lead. Interestingly, the dominant competitor of the season, Klaus Knowles, had an awful, awful qualifying. He's further down the grid, but look out for number two. He's sure to be storming. And there's problems there. 13, Marco Tonini, obviously involved in some sort of uh, second corner fracas and uh, retirement there. But everybody seems to be okay. It was, in fact, to Jacob Smirts. But this is race leader 20, Adrian Ojano. Diego Guigavats on the Aprilia second, and look at this gap already these two have pulled out. But Guigavats hanging on to the back of Arajano's Honda, not wanting to let go at all as Ricardo Chirello starts to look between the sights of uh, Massimo Bisconti's uh, machine to get past him. 39, Jaroslav Huel's not a good uh, start for him either. He's a little way back than we would normally see him. 43, Malaysian rider, Nizam. And 26 behind him, Luis Costa Balboa. Nizam on the Petronas Honda. An up and down year that uh, he's had this year. With a few suspension problems in uh, practice and qualifying. But still out in the lead. It's 20 ahead of uh, 97. There's Klaus Knowles. So Klaus Knowles has stormed through the field. Number two, Klaus Knowles on the Honda. Championship winner. And looking for a final victory in the uh, race here at Cartagena. Perfect conditions. 20. 97. And then we just see two coming through. So we'll see how quickly the gap comes down. But it is still... Adrian Arjano on the Honda leading. There's Klaus Knowles. He's got past that man, number 11, Massimo Bisconti. And then it's a whole gaggle, all fighting for positions. 43, bringing up the uh, rear of the midfield pack behind 57, Lorenzo Lanzi on the brilliant purple Aprilia. 28 there to Bruno Pagoni on uh, another of the many Hondas. Nizam gets down behind that fairing bubble. Nice long sweeping left hand turn before they get upright once again. Maximum speed before the turn left and out onto the start finish straight, but the lead's still there. And look at number two, Klaus Knowles in third place. He has closed the gap on second place man, Diego Guigavac. So Knowles on the charge and a retirement for 36, Eric Emery. So his race is over now. But Guigavac gets past 20. Guigavac takes the lead from Adrian Ajano. So the local rider who's had an impressive start to the race is down to second place. Can he do anything about it? Klaus Knowles all the time coming back up behind these two. Ajano takes the place back. And these two scrap in for first place, just allows Knowles. And there's a crash, and rajano has gone down. He's thrown it away, just uh, trying to keep ahead of Guigo Vats, and that allowed Klaus Knowles to take the lead as well. And Knowles will just disappear now into the Spanish horizon. Guigo Vats will have to really ride hard to try and keep up with him, but Guigo Vats, I would imagine, now knows that he's got to settle for second place. Knowles looking relaxed. That Honda has been impeccable all year. And really, he can just uh, ride a very well relaxed race. And Guigavats, well, I'm sure if he thought uh, there was a chance of getting past Knowles, he'd be there and take it. But uh, Knowles is not going to stand for that at all if he has any say. And the 
these two already now with quite an advantage on third place which uh, should be number 11 as we join 57 and 43 in their battle 57 Lorenzo Lanzi and uh, the patronus Honda of uh, Mohammed Nordenism and these two in their own little battle further back down through the gears before the next turn didn't commit himself uh, too much there and looked to be uh, struggling for gears but Klaus Knowles no problems whatsoever out in the lead by a very comfortable margin ahead of 97 the Aprilia Diego Grigovats the hand signals to the pit crews he crosses the line and what a wonderful season that man has had this year Klaus Knowles wins yet another race in fine style to make the end of a very impressive season for him and confirming the championship annihilation. Grigovac and Visconti filling the other podium steps. Well, spectacular year. Stand by with 250s after the break. of the Euro Open Championship in Spain for the 250 cc's also Mike Boldinger took the win at the last round in Portugal and qualified for third on the front row of the race here in Spain the championship title almost certain to go to Ivan Clemente in the middle of the picture on the pink bike as they get the uh, they get the green light in their way Clemente doesn't have to win to take the championship and it looked to be a jump start for the pole man Cheryl Yuzi 63 there on the Petronas Honda machine and Mike Boldinger got the advantage there, I think, into the first turn. But I was watching Cheryl Yuzi. Definitely seemed to have a jump start. He's behind number six, Ivan Clemente, who will just about to wrap up the championship today without any effort whatsoever. But, uh, well, will there be a penalty for Cheryl Yuzi? Look out for him. It'll be a stop and go. If there is, probably, they'll bring him into the pits. And he's currently circulating behind number seven. Yeah, at the front it is in fact 41 who leads the race Jamie Robinson British man on the TSR Honda leads the race we're with Cheryl Yuzi who is slowly dropping back through the field seems to be losing uh, a little bit of time well it could be that the Petronas rider is anticipating the possibility of a penalty and uh, just trying to uh, find out what's going on. Of course, can only rely on pit signals and flags that don't have uh, sort of any two-way radio communication like uh, some of the car races do. And again, conditions staying perfect here at Cartagena for this 250cc race. The final one of the series, the seventh round very competitive European Championship that is a good training ground and we're back at the lead Mike Boldinger working his way up and being, uh, being chased by David Tomas Perez and it was Yuzi again and Clemente's got past seven but this is what's happening at the lead 41 is still leading and then a whole gaggle of riders there all Fighting for about fifth place. Clemente's in there. Clemente just taking it easy today. Doesn't have to prove anything. But it is Jamie Robinson, 41, who leads the race ahead of 24. And Jamie Robinson, well, a fairly good year for him. He's uh, been in the top three in the races a couple of times, but never really got the podium finishes that uh, maybe maybe you deserve to have but uh, going well in this race here today look back to see where number two Mike Boldinger is and you have to think that Boldinger is just uh, biding his time as well Boldinger won the last round after Cheryl Yuzi crashed out good shot as they come through this turn 
And there is Cheryl Yuzi, and he is almost at the back of the grid now, so he's slowly dropping back. And he must be anticipating being pulled into the pits, but it uh, looks as if it's not going to happen because it would have been by now. Jamie Robinson leading this race. Final race of the year, and it would be great if he could... Oh, very lucky there to hang on to the... But it would be great if he could win here today. It would uh, really give him a nice end to the year. 24 just tries to get past him. It's Mel Vanilla trying really, really hard, but Robinson has definitely got his race face on. He's having to start to defend now. Mike Boldinger closing up a little bit, and then behind him in fourth place is number 20, Davis Tomas Perez. So that's the first four in this race so far. And Baldinger, I think, just biding his time watching these two. And I'm sure that he has something in hand and will just be able to uh, take the lead with a minimum of effort, such as the strength he's had in uh, the races this year. One second behind Arden Clemente as he goes through on the inside. 24 takes it away from 41 and instantly seems to pull out ahead of Jamie Robinson. We look now for Boldinger. Will Boldinger take Robinson or can Robinson fight back to take the lead again? In fact, he does nicely through. That was a nice move there from 41. Jamie Robinson head down on the start, finish straight. And these four now really starting to bunch up a bit. Davis Tomas Perez on the Honda, closing up as well. We saw his teammate crash out on the 125s. So he'll be out to defend team honours. Robinson still leads. Mike Bollinger there, number two. And Cheryl Yuzi now has started to move back up the field again. Obvious that uh, he wasn't going to be brought in for a penalty. He's got the message and is now starting to regain places again. And he's currently one of the well, currently the fastest man on the track. Look at uh, that man there, number 20. He's he just literally hung himself off the bike. And Boldinger now having a look at Vanilla. And it looks like he's got him nicely on the inside line at the end of the start finish straight. And Robinson will have to watch out because Boldinger is on the charge. Two very, very good riders indeed. But I think Boldinger is just. Going to take him very, very easily. Just had a look there. Terrific part of the circuit here at Cartagena. And Boldinger just seems to have a little bit more speed, a bit quicker on the braking. Here's uh, Jamie Robinson. And Davis Tomas Perez now having a look at Ismael Vanilla. Start finish line and bolding it is right behind Jamie Robinson. Will he do exactly the same? Yes, he is. He's doing exactly the same as what he did on the last uh, the last lap, but uh, didn't quite make it work this time. Just sits up a little bit more. Power comes on as he get out of that turn. Front wheel comes up and then they flick through the chicane. And David Tomas Perez seems to be dropping back a little bit there. Cheryl Yuzi, and he has gained a couple more places since we last saw him heading up into the top 10 now. for Mel Vanilla fighting hard. Oh, and Ismail Vanilla is in fact in front of Boldinger. Well, I missed that. So Boldinger somewhere let him through and Ismail Vanilla now leads. Ismail Vanilla now leads ahead of Jamie Robinson. Mike Boldinger is right on the tail of him. And the others are starting to mount up behind him. There must be about seven or eight machines there. Seven, eight, nine machines it is, in fact. So this leading bunch is probably closer than we've seen in any of the races so far this championship. But look at this man. 24 Vanilla is streaking ahead. 
And Jamie Robinson tied up with Mike Boldinger, which is allowing Benilla to get away a little bit. Who's that one up on the inside? Didn't see who it was. Look again, and it's number 16. Gabor Ritzmeyer, what a terrific, terrific move he made there. That was absolutely stunning. Well, he came from uh, literally nowhere and took that place. And <laughs> look at him, Benilla's behind him. And he goes through on the inside. 16 takes the lead now. Then it's 24. And then it's number two. Then it's 41 and 20. And it's all very close. Cheryl Yuzi still charging up through the field, desperately trying to make up places to give himself a points finish if he can. The yellow flags are out. And it's 27 that's gone down. David Quazola is out of the race as we look at Mike Boldinger. And Mike Boldinger now has the lead. Boldinger has the lead in the race. Everything's changed. Well, we missed what happened, but uh, what an exceptional race. And the dash for second and third place. Mike Boldinger, though, wins ahead of a brilliant ride from Ismail Vanilla. David Tomas Perez, third. Ivan Clemente, championship winner, fourth. Boldinger rounds off his season with a win, making it two in a row. Ismail Benilla takes second place from the Honda of Tomas Perez. Ivan Clemente finished allegedly fourth, but that was plenty enough to seal the 250 championship for him this year.